he himself has said. So we may boldly say. Hebrew chapter 13, verse 5 and 6. My assurance is to be built upon God's assurance to me. God says, I will never leave you, so that then I may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, I will not fear. In other words, I will not be obsessed with apprehension. This does not mean that I will not be tempted to fear, but I will remember God's words of assurance. I will be full of courage, like a child who strives to reach the standard his father has set for him. The face of many people begins to falter when apprehensions enter their thinking and they forget the meaning of God's assurance. They forget to take a deep spiritual breath. The only way to remove the fear from our lives is to listen to God's assurance to us. What are you fearing? Whatever it may be, you are not a coward about it. You are determined to face it, yet you still have a feeling of fear. When it seems that there is nothing and no one to help you, say to yourself, but the Lord is my helper. This very moment, even in my present circumstance, are you learning to listen to God before you speak? Or are you saying things and then trying to make God's word fit what you have said? Take hold of the Father's assurance and then say with strong courage, I will not fear. It does not matter what evil or wrong may be in our way, because he himself has said, I will never leave you. Human frailty is another thing that gets between God's words of assurance and our own words and thoughts. When we realize how feeble we are in facing difficulties, the difficulties become like giants. We become like grasshoppers and God seems to be non-existent. But remember God's assurance to us. I will never forsake you. Have we learned to sing after hearing God's keynote? Are we continually filled with enough courage to say, The Lord is my helper? Or are we yielding to fear? <laughs>